Hey, Mikey here for Rating Songs on the Beach Boys Albums. For this episode, I am rating the songs on All Summer Long. Rating these songs mostly from the songwriter's point of view, then production, and then performance. This album is surprisingly good when you think of how fast they were putting songs together. It's the first album where the wrecking crew starts working on the songs, and that does help. It's always great when a band plays their own instruments, but the Beach Boys were a vocal band and obviously having the wrecking crew would really help expand their horizons. I always start with rating the covers, and in this case, the only cover, a real sleeper, Hushabye. Well, it is a lullaby, isn't it? But they do it well. Nice vocals, and it's a nice remake, and not just a clone. The backing tra tracks have a different feel than the original Mystics version, and it has a great Beach Boys style intro. It sounds like some thought went into it to make it a Beach Boys song. I just don't know if I like it better than the original or not, but I know I like the intro, so maybe it is better. <laughs> now going on to the Beach Boys originals, our favorite recording sessions. It's kind of an obvious choice, but I like it because I don't have to rate a Beach Boys song at the bottom of my list. <laughs> now you're million and two, he sounds like a southerner. <laughs> I know they didn't put this last on the album so that the piano note we hear tips off the key of the next song, but it should have been la last on the album if it has to be on the album at all. Doesn't even qualify as filler, but All Summer Long is still a great album. What am I going to do when I get to albums like Pet Sounds with this rating system? Huh. Do you remember, barely a year into their career and they're already jumping on the nostalgia train? At least we get a detailed look of how to make a Beach Boys record from high voice to low. But at the time they make this song, the memories weren't very long ago, were they? Taking the next spot is Carl's Big Chance. Almost sounding like a throwback to an earlier era after listening to the direction the Beach Boys are taking with this album. It, but it isn't really surf music, so I guess it fits. As always, it's good to hear Carl playing. Drive in. Only you can prevent forest fires. Well, at least he watched the screen for a little while. Man, I'm going broke. How true. Might as well get used to it, Mike. Divorces cost even more. The loose double tracking always distracts me, but it's still a fun song. Drive-In sounds more like a shutdown volume two song that resists the direction it, Brian is heading in, but is full of great lines. Slapping you in the head next is Don't Back Down. Well, this song shows they weren't out of love rhymes for surfing songs yet, but it is the end of the surfing songs for the Beach Boys. The subject turns up again from time to time, but sort of in a nostalgic way. This is really the last proper Beach Boys surfing song. The quality of the lines isn't quite up to the hit surfing songs, but it's pretty good. I begin to wonder if the sport surfing is only about showing off. But no, it's fun to surf. In my book, it's not worth the pain, so it was fun to surf. We'll run away. The precursor to Wouldn't It Be Nice. It's a well-told tale of seeing reality and ignoring it. Well, if their parents did it, 
then they could too, right? I still wonder why they have a dropout of the backing tracks at around 30 seconds in. Wendy. Well, his future looks awful dim. Must be the bad boy Wendy always wanted. So, face it, dude. You're back in the dating pool. Or dating ocean in this case. Better get the deuce coop and your board waxed up. Seriously, a song with a lot of great lines that puts you there with the guy. Maybe the love down pat line should have been rethought. Little Honda. Clever idea to start writing about motorbikes. Surprised they never wrote about motorcycles proper. But I suppose it didn't fit the image. I mean... Where are you going to strap the surfboard? Well, I guess Wendy would have liked the bike, but Barbara Ann wouldn't have. What do you think? Maybe Wendy is a better song, but then I couldn't have joked about Wendy if I'd put that one next. The only problem I have with this song is imagining some muscular surfer dude pulling up his garage door, thereby exposing his deuce coop to the world and riding out on his moped, or a little Honda in this case. But it's a groovy little motorbike. All summer long, I don't know if I'd have reminded her about spilling coke all over her blouse, but what else rhymes with house? Mouse, louse, joust. <laughs> yeah, let's keep blouse. But it's the perfect Beach Boys song, isn't it? Covers the whole summer in your imagination, too. The Girls on the Beach, my personal favorite. Add to this song that there are two girls for every boy, and things start to sound pretty good. As if I needed a reminder of why I like this band so much. The hope in the line one waits there for you is eternal. And then there's that melody. Ah. On the beach you find them there, in the sun and salty air. It sounds better when they sing it. Sometimes a song idea is all that is needed, and this is one of those songs, but the lines serve the melody and say all that is needed to be said. For the number one, I get around. One of those songs you hear the opening line and it's over. The song wins. With lines like, the bad guys know us and they leave us alone, you get a song that's hard to beat. From great lines to great guitar lines, this song does it all. Even a key change. Thanks for listening. Coming up, the concert album. Please hit like and subscribe. See you next week.